This episode of What's the Apps is brought to you by Audible and my oh-so-fabulous fake radio voice. Well, hello there. How's it going? It's John Q here from Techno Buffalo, and welcome to What's the Apps. In the last episode, Electrostar OX10 suggested that I check out Opera Mini for iOS and Android. Opera Mini isn't really anything new, but as a long-time Opera user, I feel like it deserves a go. So hang on to your 3D glasses, folks. For this episode of What's the Apps, we're going to be checking out Opera Mini. For many years, Opera was my main browser. I loved the UI and I really, really, really loved the mouse gestures. I mean, they're, they're out of this world. I only recently switched over to Chrome because of the Google syncing and, and I really, really like the web development tools in Chrome. They're just really awesome. And plus, it's really lightweight and, and portable, compact, fits in your pocket kind of thing. Love that. Opera did a stand-up job by integrating their slick and stylish UI down to their mobile applications. But is it necessarily better than your phone's native browser? Well, we'll just have to see. Let's start off with the basic Opera Mini features that your mobile browser might not have. Opera's startup page is pretty awesome. It's a visual display of your bookmarks and can be customized pretty easily. Sharing is natively integrated. The tabs are really, really cool. And check this out. There's a find in page option, which I really appreciate. Not to mention it works really, really well. There are also options to adjust text size as well as image quality to improve load times. Full screen mode is also always appreciated because you know like psh, having 20 pixels at the top and bottom it's just so so very important. Performance wise I've tested Opera Mini on these three devices each with its own popular operating system and all over the Wi-Fi. First let's start off with Android. Opera Mini more or less works like the default Android browser. If you didn't know any better you'd think that you were using the same web browsing application. Some pros of Opera would be that when scrolling up or down an arrow pops up which can take you to either the top or bottom of the page. Scrolling also feels a little bit smoother. This might be a little bit hard to see on camera, but you just gotta trust me on this one. Some cons would be that the images look <laughs> they look pretty nasty, even on quote, high quality. Opera also behaves a little bit strange when rotated, as instead of readjusting the browser size, it kind of zooms in into the text content. Also, Opera Mini doesn't look like it supports a video playback. Shoot, you don't even see a link to open it on YouTube or anything. The full screen non-mobile desktop site loaded pretty okay but the menu was a little bit screwed up. I noticed this on other sites as well, not all but some. The experience is similar on iOS but it's more pleasant than horrible. Opera scrolling is absolutely fantastic on iOS. Much better than Safari's which I thought was pretty good at first but now it looks all weak, feeble and frail compared to this free spirited one swipe never ends kind of experience you'd get on Opera. Unlike Android, images render just fine and video shows up as well, but like Android, it has that weird when in landscape mode, I must zoom into everything kind of thing going on. Lastly, let's check out Opera Mini on a non-touchy small screen, no nonsense, all business device like this Blackberry. But first, a quick word from our sponsors at audible.com. Audible.com is the leading provider of digital downloadable audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 75 thousand wonderful titles to choose from to be downloaded onto your mp3 or ipod to be played back anywhere anytime okay choose from books in every genre science fiction thrillers drama comedy business history and much much more i was on there and i saw that they had some titles from george carlin now i have his ebooks but there's nothing like you know carlin's words spoken by the man himself and having that playing in the background via audiobook while you do work awesome awesome stuff like, makes me happy inside. To get any of George Carlin's works or any of these 75,000 plus titles, just go to audiblepodcast.com slash techno to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Back to the review. We all know that the web browsing experience isn't really too good on them Blackberries, and if you didn't know that, then, hey man, the web browsing experience is not too good on them Blackberries. Stuff usually takes time to load, stuff renders incorrectly, things break, sometimes fonts are just ridiculously tiny, and all that fun, fabulous stuff. And with Opera Mini, it doesn't get any better. In fact, it gets worse. Not only does stuff usually break, but on a lot of sites, text is shrunk and shifted to the left for some reason. You can definitely see this a lot on non-mobile sites. It's just, ugh. Overall, I can't really give a rating for this one as the experience is different for different OSs, but I'll say this. If it works, the features of Opera Mini are pretty gosh darn cool. And the darn thing is free, so you don't, you don't really have much to lose here. So I'd recommend Opera Mini for iOS or Android, but if you're on a BlackBerry, stick with the default browser. I know that's not saying much, but, but yeah, just stick with the default browser. Thank you very much for checking out my review of Opera Mini. If you have any applications in mind that you would like me to check out, let me know by commenting. This was John Q from Techno Buffalo. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.
Laters.